Hello, my name is Darren Thomas, and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to use our knowledge of worksheets and for loops to do several interesting things inside Excel VBA. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm inside VBA right now. I have Microsoft Excel off to my left, and I have my VBA developer off to my right. And what we're going to do in our first example, there will be two examples in this video, is we're going to learn how to add data to several worksheets using a, a, for, a for loop or for next loop, if you will. So in order to do that, we're going to have to, of course, create a subroutine. So we're going to go ahead here and start making our subroutine. All right. <clears throat> we have our subroutine here off to your right. It's called subplace number so we're going to place a number inside our worksheet here so we had to dim i as an integer that's going to allow us to go through our for loop and then also n as an integer and n is going to of course if you look right here in the next line is going to count the number of worksheets now i hope you can see this now down here at the bottom i have three worksheets so what's going to happen is that when we go through our for loop here it's going to go worksheet i so worksheet number one worksheet number two etc it's going to input this range, A1 to B3 is gonna put the number one, two, three. So from A1 to B3, which is gonna be about this space right here, is going to put the number one, two, three, and it's going to put this inside each worksheet. So let's see if we can go through this. All right, so we started it up. It, you, if you look down at the locals window in the lower right hand part of your screen, you can see that N has been set to three because we have three worksheets. Now we go through here. Now you can see in sheet one, we've already placed one, two, three, one, two, three, six times here. You can see it off to your left. And so then we go again. Now I'm gonna to go to sheet two so you can see this happen a second time. Then I go back over to my developer, press. You can see the numbers appear here again. Now let me just go to sheet three so you can see this one more time. Iterate one more time. And you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, et cetera, those six times. So this was a simple example of how you can go through several worksheets using a for, a for, uh, for loop, or you could say in this specific example, a for next loop, and uh, add data to the different worksheets inside Excel. Now for our next little trick here, this one is a little bit more complicated. What we're going to do here is we are going to take some information through an input box It's going to ask you how many worksheets you want and then it's going to add the worksheets and then our second goal is going to be to rename these worksheets based on what is what you input into a, a, an additional input box so we're going to call this particular subroutine here sub sheet name and we're going to dim Right here, we're going to dim our variable. All right, so here we have our code. Let me see if I can walk you through this nice and slow. So the name of our subroutine is sheet new name. And right here, we're going to dim several variables. Our first vari variable that we're going to dim is of course I that allows us to you know iterate through our worksheets here and then in the number of worksheets that we want. And then we're gonna dim something called sheet names, which is what we're going to use to rename our worksheets towards the end of this code. So the right here in this line, you can see that we're gonna have an input box that asks you how many worksheets you want. So you could say four, you could say five. Now in the next line here, we start our for loop, but we have this n minus one. We all know that when you open Microsoft Excel, it starts with one worksheet. So therefore, if you tell Microsoft Excel you want five worksheets, well, one is already there. So that means that VBA needs to add four more. This is why we have this N minus one. And of course, you've seen this code here before, this sheets.add after, this is how you add a sheet after the active sheet. So that's it, then we go next through I. Once we can complete this uh, for next loop, if you will. Then we go down here to our second for loop, starting from one all the way to n. And what we do now is we want to rename the worksheets. 
And so it asks you right here, if you look closely, input box, what is the name of sheet? So I, so that'll be sheet one, sheet two, etc. And then whatever you type inside the input box, that is what we set the name to. So, and then of course we exit. Now, what we will do is we're going to run this. So we, we're going to start at the top, press F8. You can see down in the locals window in the lower right hand corner, how some, all of our variables have been declared. We go to end, it asks me how many worksheets do I want? I'm going to type three, like so. And so you can see end has been set to three, which means that of course it's going to add two more. So you can see right there, there's one worksheet going through. There goes a second worksheet. So that's two worksheets added for a total of three. Now we're gonna name them. So what is the name of sheet one? I'm just going to put here new sheet. All right, now look in the lower left-hand corner and you're gonna see the name changed in a second. All right, so sheet number one is changed. Now our second sheet is gonna ask me the name, another sheet, just call it that, keep it simple. Now if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna see the name changed. And one more time, we're just gonna call it final sheet, like so. And of course, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see the name has been changed. Let's see here, all right, like so. And so then we go back to the developer and we finish out the subroutine. So this is yet another tool that you can use um, for whatever applications you are trying to develop in Excel VBA. So let's summarize what we talked about and wrap up this particular video. So in this video, we learned how we can combine our knowledge of for loops with our knowledge of using worksheets inside Excel VBA. So we learned how to iterate through worksheets to place data inside them. And we also learned how to uh, iterate, create worksheets and then iterate through them uh, by renaming them. And of course, in this last example, we could have added something where we put in data, but there was no point for that. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you so much for watching and take care.